In this brief module, we're going to go over the Release KPIs dashboard. The Release KPIs dashboard provides trending of releases and changes and issues over time. So as you make improvements on your DevOps journey, you can see if those are having a positive impact or not. To get to the Release KPIs dashboard, just go up to Dashboard, Release KPIs. At the top, you'll find a day filter, a filter for portfolio. You can filter by release type and the release status, and then I'll go ahead and apply that filter. Right now, I'm um, January 1st, 2020 through December 31st of last year, and you can see how many releases we're doing and how many changes or user stories are being delivered by month. You can see the different split of release types, which portfolios are delivering those releases, and what was considered the risk level of those releases. You can see where you're spending time on the different releases, so for instance, this guy took about 46 days and that's a minor release. Uh, where time is being spent by phase, by release type. Great report is what's your distribution of work across your different types of changes. So in this case, we're tracking enhancements, change requests, features, bugs, stories, and tasks. And you can see how we're steadily increasing the amount of work we're delivering. We can take a look at which portfolio is delivering changes, what types of changes, are there themes to the changes, and the last section here are post-implementation review items. Basically, when you go to production, we can capture any production incidents and relate them back to releases. February, it looks like we had about four post-implementation review items. Definitely wanna to try to trend this down. Which portfolio is generating those? What type of PIR items are there? What category? and what are their themes. So this release KPIs dashboard is out of the box. It is actually possible to create your own dashboards. You know, if you have programming skills, you would come up to dashboard IM dashboard using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, create your own or have Plutora create them for you, your own unique dashboards. As an activity, I'd just like you to simply navigate to and around the release KPIs dashboard.